hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing this all round beginning for beginners if you're a beginner you'd really want to stay till the end so first off i take my gilly and i divide it into two equal parts then i divide it into two parts again so that makes it four equal parts and i take one end and from one end you can see i just go to the middle and fold it so this gilly measurement is going to be 75 25 so i am pleating making my four b splits at the front because that is the first thing to do you take your 25 flap and your 75 flap go in the middle and make your four b splits it's easier to make your four b split on any flat surface than put on your head like i've done in this video so at this point after laying my four b splits on my head i am now coming with the 75 flap and you can see i folded a little bit inside and from the end i am taking my first three pleats so i'm taking like three base pleats these three base pleats will be the base of my standing plate just continue to watch you'll understand as we go in this video so you can see how i am holding my 25 flap so that my gilly will not be loose on my head you want to make sure that you hold the other side as well and you bring it like this you can see the way i've brought it on my head and you place it you make sure it aligns with the fourth split you have made from the 25 flap like the base split so you make sure that it aligns on it because this split would be the base of your standing plates like the remaining plates are going to fall on these three base plates and you want to take it to the end so you just continue to take it to the end and once it reaches the end i come to the back and i make my first knot so you you're going to tie your gilly you can see how i'm holding it i picked from the middle my 75 pleats so i picked from the middle of it and i am making my first knot Just 
began doing this with the minimum, not to small, not to big and so that you can have it down. If it's too big, it's not going to form this down and you might not even like it at the end of the day, it might be too flat, which you feel on me. So just make sure that your feet are minimum, your feet are minimum, and you make sure that you take in the minimum. For this video, for the sake of showing you how to take it to the end, and you will not agree with follow through in that case, you can see that it was just more about the middle and then just taking a little bit to the side. Because I want to show you how to finish up your boots at both sides. Because not everybody will be able to do it to the side on their first trial. So you can see I'm done with my feet and I have come to the side. But for some reason I couldn't capture it at this side. So I just did for the other side. So yeah. I already finished the game before I saw that I did not really capture it. I didn't I couldn't even see what I wanted you to see. So I tried again but still I couldn't see. I just said I would show you at the other side. But still for the sake of the video I am still trying to straighten out my pleats to the end. So this is the first end and as you can see I have straightened it to the end and I'm just making sure that no pleats is hiding and I losing you know I tied my gilly twice so I loosened the first tie and I am putting the end of my gilly inside it then I'm taking the knot over it so that way it's secure and it's firm you can see it's secure it's firm we are going to the side now and I need to watch closely and hopefully I will take my face so there's really no big deal about this except that whatever fault you have made you will take it to the end so follow the things you have done at the end make sure that you do not lose anyone and make sure that no one is hiding and that is it you are just going to have it just follow through to the end what you have done at the middle then come to the back so yeah I just um, take the side that aligns my pleats. You can see I just tracked that part. You can watch that part again. So I just tracked that part and it was able to reduce my gilly fabric. So I do not have saggy pleats. Make sure that your pleats are not saggy. Your gilly is interconnected. So you pull, you pull the side that connects to the other side. So yeah. I am trying to tidy up my gilly since I already like what I see and I'm just taking the extra fabric to cover up just cover up at the back and voila this gilly just needs practice just constant practice and before you know you are there this gilly can be done to church your own bear or any function that you need gilly for and this gilly can be Thank you.